natural selection and how it applies to rising hyperland trust me you can actually take the wildest and the most irrelevant seemingly irrelevant of topics and you can connect it to rising hyperland that's how you know versatile this endeavor that we embark on is okay so the key to evolution is natural selection you know what evolution is right it's basically the transformation and transmutation of a thing that's in version one to a thing that is no longer in version one perhaps something that is in version two right you know what evolution is that's that so what is natural selection then natural selection is a mechanism of evolution where organisms that are more adapted to their environment are more likely to survive and pass on the genes that aided their success okay quite a lengthy and wordy definition how does this apply to rising stuff okay so it's a mechanism of evolution it's a medium right it's a medium through which evolution takes place okay we can just name the process of that natural selection where organisms organisms in this case would be our rices the different rices that we have over here right like let's say this one or something like this one whichever one basically okay that where organisms that are more adapted to their environment let's say that your work environment demands you to be distraction free and not have lots of stuff going on so perhaps you don't want to have a lot of the modules over here and you just want to have a pretty minimal bar that's like probably stuck to the top okay no floating island style modules none of that stuff okay maybe something like that are more likely to survive so a rice that actually looks super minimal and undistracting is more likely to survive and you're more likely to use it for longer this is what the statement is basically saying so if the if the rice is adapted to its environment is adapted to your work environment and what you require out of it then it's more likely to survive in the sense that you're going to keep using it for longer and eventually what happens is of course your work environment or your demands for what you need from your environment are going to change your work environment might demand something else that is currently not being provided by your current rice in which case it will pass on the genes that aided its success in the first place so let's say the reason why you were using an undistracting you know minimal setup in the first place was to again main focus is just minimize distraction okay then the next setup the next rice that you're going to perhaps make is going to have the aspects of minimalism incorporated into it okay maybe a little bit more on the side of you know information display going on over here like in the bar or in the wallpaper and all that stuff but basically it would still have genes right genes are basically in this case would be yeah hereditary units that's what we call genes right they're basically a fundamental unit of heredity so it would pass on like minimalism would be a gene in this case from your current rice to the rice that you're going to have after that if that makes sense that's pretty much it that's how you can actually take natural selection and apply it to rising hyperland of all things